PCR is a widely used method to make millions to billions copies of a specific nucleic acid segment in vitro. Vitro means in the test tube rather than an organism. Because significant amount of DNA sample is required for molecular and genetic analysis, studies of DNA segments are nearly impossible without PCR amplification. To amplify DNA segment produced by PCR can be used in wide range of processes such as in the Human Genome Project, in DNA fingerprinting, it can be used for detection of viral particles, for example for the detection of COVID-19, as is the current problem in the world right now. It can be used in diagnosis of genetic disorders and so on. PCR reaction is a three-step process that is carried out in repeated cycles. These steps are denaturation, annealing and extension. So the first step of the cycle one is denaturation of DNA strands. This occurs by heating the strands to temperatures of around 95 degrees Celsius. Heating denatures the hydrogen bonds which hold the strands together. Each DNA strand will be a template which a new strand is built. The next step is annealing of DNA primers. At this step, temperature is cooled to 55 to 65 degrees Celsius so that the primers can anneal to their complementary strands. In the third step, temperature is raised to 72 degrees Celsius, where the tag polymerase begins adding free nucleotides onto the ends of the annealed primers. Then the process begins again. These steps are performed in a thermocycler and usually 25 to 30 cycles are required to produce a sufficient amount of DNA copies. The PCR product can be visualized using gel electrophoresis, which is a technique that separates DNA fragments according to size. A standard DNA ladder is included to identify the size of the PCR product. The DNA fragment that amplified by the PCR will produce a visible band as shown here. This band here contains many copies of the DNA segment.